eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Delta Space Systems. I'm Cole Pertzer and today I'm going to be showing you flight 8, 9, 10, and 11 of the Frontier rocket that I've been working on for the last couple of months. After the success of flight 7, we immediately began working on Frontier flight 8. Frontier flight 8 has a host of changes including a polycarbonate TVC mount, a much lighter vehicle, and a completely redesigned parachute ejection system which should increase the reliability of it. Once I was done iterating on the design, it was time for the launch. Four, three, two, one. Frontier Flight 8 was a big step forward in our TVC development because it had better stability than Flight 7, along with a slower descent rate. Although the parachute got tangled around the body of Frontier when it was ascending because of a code error, this error was soon fixed and was not present in the later flights. With the parachute error fixed, updated PID gains, and a stretched airframe, it was now time to launch Frontier Flight 9. Due to the parachute being next to the ejection charge and not on top of it, the ejection charge only popped off the nose cone and not the parachute too. After Frontier Flight 9, I completely redesigned the ejection system to make it lighter, more aerodynamic, and more reliable. Since the footprint of the ejection system was smaller, and the power was placed in the middle of it, this made the parachute always come out. Once the new ejection system was tested, and we got the new F-23 FJ rocket motors, we could launch Frontier once again. There was three major problems in Flight 11. The first issue was when the rocket pitches over, rise it lifts off. That's because of the TVC mount misalignment. This was my fault and I could have done a better job in the pre-flight checks. The second problem is that the PID gains are far too high and the rocket overcorrects. The rocket antagonizes itself until it calls an in-flight abort, which stops thrust vector control. That's why you see the rocket spin out of control. The parachutes deploy after, and it comes down safely. Right after the flight, I realized what was wrong and I fixed the three issues. I dialed back the control gains, I tried to get the TVC mount in its closest center as possible, and also I changed the code so now I'll thrust vector even if there's an abort. After those issues were fixed, I bring Frontier back out to the field to launch it one more time. Now the reason the parachutes didn't deploy was because I was using a different ejection cap which couldn't hold as much black powder. I have done three parachute ejection tests on the ground with the new cap and all of them have been successful for Flight 12. Flight 12 will most likely take place in mid-September. I'm Cole, thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the next launch.